Hello. For this next story, I have a friend with me that wanted to hear the story too. What is it? It's so cute. Are you ready to hear the story? Okay. Sloth Slept On by Fran Preston Gannon. He wasn't like any other creature we had ever found in the backyard. We asked him his name. We asked what he was doing up in our tree, but there was no answer. He was asleep. We had lots of questions, so we set off to find some answers. Do you see this in the corner? Missing. Please return to the zoo. First, we asked Dad what he thought, but he was busy. We looked in all the books we could find. They were full of pictures and words and places and things, but there was nothing that looked like our new friend. The rainforest, wonders of the desert, animals of the ocean, daily news, zoo breakout, zookeeper looks high and low for missing animal. We knew he wasn't an elephant. He didn't have a trunk. He wasn't a tiger either. He didn't have any stripes. He wasn't a horse or a bear. He let out a loud snore. He was still asleep. Perhaps he didn't belong in our backyard at all. Maybe he had traveled for a very long time from somewhere far away. Maybe he was a ferocious pirate who had been sailing the seas and was sleepy from all his adventures. He might even be a brave knight who was exhausted from spending all his time fighting dragons. Look! He is not an elephant or an astronaut or a pirate or a knight. He is an animal called a sloth. We learned that our friend usually lives in the beautiful rainforests of Central and South America, like in Brazil. This sloth is a type called a three-toed sloth who uses his strong grip to stay in the trees. Sloths move very, very slowly. The sloth is a very sleepy animal. He can sleep hanging in a tree for up to 20 hours a day. Sometimes a sloth lives in the same tree in the rainforest for years at a time. The rainforest has all the things that a sloth likes to eat best, such as leaves, fruit, twigs, and even bugs. The rainforest sounded wonderful. We decided there was only one thing to do. We found a nice big box and used all the stamps we could find. We packed in some lovely leaves to eat and toys for the journey. The box says, please send to the rainforest. We were so happy the sloth had come all the way from the rainforest to visit. We would miss him lots, but we were glad that he would be waking up back where he belonged. Deep in the rainforest, the sloth finally stirred. He had been having the most wonderful sleep. He slowly lifted his head, looked around, and said, excuse me, which way is the zoo? The end. Did you like that story?